What is going on guys? Thanks for stopping by the old number seven garage. On this episode today, it's gonna to be a little different. I'm gonna prep my racetrack because everybody is shut down out of business. No racing. I'm gonna race. First thing I gotta do, yeah, I know. It's okay. I've hard, hard day at work. Thank God I'm working. Hope y'all get to do the same too. First thing I'm gonna do, my switch on my four wheeler here is all jacked up and I gotta hold that down for it to run. It's just an on off switch. So I'm gonna clean that up. Contacts gotta be messed up in or something so I can get to pulling my uh, track prep equipment. So hang tight, let me get that fixed. And then we'll uh, we'll go on out there and, uh, and prep it up and get it ready. What's up, buddy? What's the matter? Well, well, I found the grass and then I just, um, then I don't hit my, um, finger. You hit your finger? Are you gonna make it? You gonna be okay? I, I Hey, I'll tell you what. How what? about you go ride the little four-wheeler while I get this ready? Well, I, I can't I gotta go get that started for the little man. What do you think, bud? You like your new four wheeler? Yeah. Show me. Watch this, guys. Go. <laughs> Throttle jockey. He loves that thing. Him and Sienna both. <laughs> has a good time with it you'll hear him in the background that's for sure so these contacts are just they're nasty and yeah they're gross so my problem is i was going between these and it wasn't making a good connection i'd have to push on it that's just part of it wear and tear said this thing set outside for a long time so i'm just gonna go clean the contacts up on this real good and uh man we ought to be I see another problem this has got hot and actually melted and kept this spring from working that's probably my main problem right there so I'm gonna get that going and once I get it done we'll quit jacking around here and we'll get out to the racetrack and show you how I prep it so hang tight all right guys got it all lined out if you ever take one of these switches apart you better watch out because there's a bunch of stuff in there to fall off but I got it all done. This switch here, when you click it in the middle, it should bring that up, and it does. And my problem was I was having to hold it in to make that contact, but switch off, switch on. There you go. We're ready to do some prep work, boys. Let's do it. All right, guys, we're coming over here to hook up. Okay, running on the racetrack. Coming over here to hook up to our working equipment. We gotta get this track dried out. How close was we? Heck, <laughs> not really. And you got to get pretty daggum close because I can't pull that. Tell me how far I need to go. That's probably too far. Yeah, we might go make that work. Alright, so here's what we got. One ATV disc and uh, I don't really know. Which I guess you'd consider that an ATV disc too. But this one's got the big blades. It cuts real big chunks and this kind of chops it down real fine. So we got to get that spot right over there. Let's look at it. Oh, that's reverse. Eh. Let's get over here. It does real nice work, boys. Watch this. We gotta hit this. This stuff here is nasty. I drained it all out, but it's bad shape. We gotta cut that up. Get that fluffed up. And then 
this here is a little bit wet too. But yeah, it, it really freaking sucks around. So I'm going to make a whole bunch of rounds around this track. And uh, see if we can get this going. But yeah, that's what we need. We're racing. We got dust flying over here. <laughs> Dust flying over here and mud over there. It's crazy. It's gonna get pretty uh, sketchy here in a second. I don't know if I'll be getting hung up or not. We'll find out. Oh yeah. Getting sloppy. Chase will pack the track down for us. <laughs> What are you doing? I want to get Alright. You drive. Okay. Parking good. Let me have it real quick. <laughs> it's pretty sloppy. on this. he doing work prepping the track and here comes chase 100 mile an hour there he goes <laughs> he got run the dog over all right we got her trained up she's gonna be able to do that Oh my gosh, Chase. You're a freaking madman. So on this area, I mean, it's nothing but slop. And it was a low spot. And the only thing I could do was dig me a little trench here, make a sump hole. And then I'd take a little pump and I'd go across the track, this hose here, and I'd pump the water across the track. And then I got this dirt here. I'm going to wind up shoveling over there, but I need to get this all fluffed up. So tell me what you guys think. Old number seven speedway. She sat for a while. I think we're ready to get back at it now. We'll come back with you in a bit when we get that all done. I got a roller in the background over there. We can roll this in. And I also got a little rake thing over there. It's pretty cool. And I'll drag some of this dirt around over here and let it sit here. <laughs> Getting them trained right, guys. Oh yeah, look at all that dirt flying. That's gonna work. We about got her done. Chase is about wore the track out already. There he goes. <laughs> Welcome back guys. Now we got the old, I don't know what you call it, but it's a little drag thing. It works pretty good. It levels the ground out real nice. Oh, is it? Yeah, you can so we just drag this, flatten the track out after we disc it up. Yeah. Yeah. It does a real nice job. Knocks the high spots down real nice. And it'll drain a lot of dirt over here to the uh, wet spot too. Oh yeah, we got, we got some dirt now. Or 15 more times and uh, we'll see if if we can uh 
Get a little bit of that dirt down in there. It ought to work pretty good. Shaping up, boys and girls. Shaping up. We're getting her close. Oh, here comes Chase. What are you doing? Ah! Mommy getting the kids for a ride. This is working out pretty good. I do have to say, I like it. Working real nice. They're also packing the track in for me. Alright, so we're gonna do this for a while and we're gonna see what happens. What you got there? That's nice. All right, guys, we got old blue fired up with our roller full of concrete. So we're gonna hook it up. We're gonna roll the truck in. Sienna wanted to ride with me, but hey, can I get you to back up a little bit? You don't know how. Here, I'll just pull it back. Hold this. Record. freaking calls from Denise or whoever you guys get them I gotta go get a drill and bore that out so I can get that pin to fit first time I've used it so we're getting close about to make some laps on her hang tight so I have a better idea instead of boring a hole in it got these little deals here I bet you I got a big one in there oh yeah this is more like what I need. I think I got them at the old Harbor Freight. Cheap. That right there saved me from having to drill that old steel. What are you doing, Daisy May? Your ears are messed up, sis. What you doing? Your ears are a little bit messed up there, bud. You been playing? A little bit of mud on you? Let's go. Let's go. Want this stick? You want this stick? Go get him. Get him get it no too big for you ready go get it uh oh lucky found it <laughs> oh lucky got it get it there you go what are you doing get it let me see it thank you go get it now it has like a texture to it that like is hard feel it like squishy a little bit yeah there ain't much there is there Let's see if this will work All right, you drive. I'm gonna watch it. Oh no! I don't I'm, gonna, I'm gonna set this right here. Look. All right, go ahead. Hang on, I gotta put you in drive. Okay, go. Hang on, hang on. Is the brake on? Oh, okay. Go ahead. Oh yeah, that's gonna be real nice. That's gonna flatten her out good. Yep. Yep. That's gonna do a trick right there, boys and girls. Are we gonna do that about 15 or 20,000 laps to get that done? I wanna see how it does over here on the, the uh, soft spot. I think it'll be pretty good. Man, dragging that thing right there across this whole wet spot I had. 
It did a really good job. See if we can get her over here. Sienna, come through here. Let's see how it does through here. Sure, it firmed it up. And you can tell it's a little, a little squishy. But it's all dry dirt on top. So maybe make a few time passes over that. That'll get that firmed up. See how it is out here. Oh, it's real good out here. Raceable almost. <laughs> all right. We're going to make us a few passes and get this packed down and see what we got. Thanks for stopping by, guys. The old number seven garage. We really appreciate you. Drop a like on the video if you like what you're seeing. Something a little different here on the channel, like I said. But either way, we're all having fun. What you doing there, bud? You riding with us? We're just getting us a better view. I do have to say I believe that's probably a success on the roller I think it did a really good job really packed this stuff down looks cool Let's see sissy coming through here <laughs> heck all we need now is a couple race cars out here Yes, that, that was good. This is nice, nice dirt, boys. I'm liking it. I'm liking the fact that she's uh, enjoying doing it, too. She pretty well kicked me off that thing. I didn't get a chance. So, yep. Old number seven speedway. She's turning around. So I got a spot for me to race. Put one on your backyard if you got room. Don't ask the wife. Just do it. Then put her in a go-kart or something. Let her race too. She'll like it. <laughs> I think that's going to wrap it up for today. So I want to thank you guys for sticking around and just see what we're doing here at the old number seven garage. Standing in the middle of the old number seven speedway. What do you think? I can tell you that I am going to put a race car on this thing. If you can't race, build it all right so tim here at the old number seven garage saying if you build it they will come <laughs>